friends hope you're all well so i thought i'd talk about covering or wrapping a hoop today uh, excuse me i'm going to sneeze <coughs> excuse me um now i always wrap my uh embroidery hoops because inevitably especially on a cheaper hoop i don't know if you can see but you'll get gapping so then your fabric tends to move around a bit so if you wrap the hoop with some bias tape or um this is cotton tape it alleviates that and it gives it a little bit more grip so that's what i'm going to do today but first off i'm going to talk about my favored hoops um I'll try not to clunk about too much. So I like to go, I like to use the Anerge brand. And the reason I like to do buy those and use those is because this one's trimming up a bit, but that's this brass fitting goes all the way along and has a strengthened bit in it. And the key is turned by a little nut screwdriver, flathead screwdriver part, and you can tighten it up like that. Okay, then my next one, again, it's got a brass fitting and they come um, riveted on, but these, if you can see the difference, these are quite sturdy here and they're a lot thinner and what happens is when you get your fabric in and you start to tighten it up these um, pieces here start to bow in so you may be not getting as tight where these are a little bit more robust they are a few pounds more or a couple of pounds more they're not much more but they are worth the investment this one these are really really cheapy ones from the you know you get like 10 four or five pounds or something like that and these are bamboo um and they just aren't very strong at all and they've got like a nut either side it's, they've got a nut either side so you this nut isn't uh, fastened in like these ones are these are sort of the th these are threaded this has got like a little nut that's fastened in and this has got a nut that's loose so if you undo this oh hello Gertrude if you undo this all the way which I'm going to do oh that gets lost <laughs> inevitably that gets lost so that's one reason i'm not a huge fan of these but they do have their place and if you're a beginner you like i say and don't want to invest too much money these are great and also they're not so bad for making you know like a picture type thing um let me just find one and use him for that if you're mounting them they're okay for that yeah so they, they do have their place as i say but as you get more and more um involved in embroidery it's better to invest a little bit so i won't be using that one i won't be covering that one um the smaller hoops they're not so it's not so important really you know that that the, because you're not going to be putting an awful lot of pressure on the fabric so i'm not too I, I don't mind buying a little cheapy one of those but as i say the bigger i go the sort of more robust i want my um fitting to be i'm just going to reach up and get a huge huge one like this these are so much and and with the the brand that i'm 
I've been using, they tend to stay in shape, they don't distort because they're a lot stronger. So I would that's my recommendation, but as I always say, go with what you what your budget is. Um but for I think for um this size hoop which is a do 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 a six and a half inch six inch hoop in the middle um they're about six pounds so but i always have the deeper hoop and not the thinner hoop so you can buy and they're a lot they're quite a bit cheaper the thinner but i always go for the deeper hoop just because i i, I, prefer, I like it i like to hold it when I'm holding it, it, it's more comfortable for me, personally. So, anyway, we're going to cover this one first up. And um, I'll show you my method. Uh, I will, sometimes I'll wrap the inner and the outer, depending on what I'm working on. But usually I'll just wrap the out the inner sorry and first thing i'll do is i will get a little bit of glue and just put a dab of glue on i was looking for um some print stick but i couldn't find any and you want to make sure that you're you're starting on the inside you're gluing it to the inside and not the outer side of your circle of your hoop okay. and the reason for that is when you fit them back together you don't want that bulky bit just there so you'll need about a, I'd say a metre roughly oh hold on don't want to stick down does it let's cut a bit more on probably stick it onto that like I say this is not what the glue I really would want but not to worry because i'll be showing what i do to finish it off anyway right and now with your bias tape you want to pull hang on to it and pull at an angle so you come in go through and you want to wrap over ever so slightly about well, if you look on the bias, it's got like a little hem, and you'll want to wrap that hem width, which is about a quarter of an inch, um, half a centimetre, something like that. And pull it quite tight, because you don't want it to be loose. And you know, just need to keep on twisting. Go through. I'm hoping I've got enough on this, because it's just a piece I picked up. And you know what's going to happen. I'm not going to have hammer. But once you've started going, you can let go at this end. And just keep on twisting. Like I say, this is... I do this with all my hoops. Because if I don't, the fabric will slip about. And it's not so bad on the little bits of splinter and things people say that that's probably another reason but on the more expensive hoops you tend to not get that so obviously you're going to need the bigger the hoop and the bigger the depth this is a 16 mil depth hoop but normal hoops are about eight millimeters I'm holding my breath here, thinking I'm not going to have enough um, bias. I have, because I've got some more, but I don't really want to be um, stitching some more on, if I can help it. About halfway. And I'll spend... I'll, when I buy new hoops, I'll spend a day, half a day, just messing around doing these and getting them right for me to stitch on.
but if, be warned though if you're making your own bias tape or your own make sure that your fabric isn't too thick because I did one and I couldn't I couldn't um, open it <laughs> I put that it was that thick it was it was useless I had to undo it again because it the other the ring even though I opened it as far as I could it wouldn't go over it wouldn't fit over it so just be wary just be mindful of that so yeah as I say I'm using about a meter roughly for this six inch hoop okay I'll try and keep it tight as I can but you if you go in bigger you'll want to think you um, double in that and obviously smaller it's going to be less A nice cotton ribbon. Um, I think I bought some from uh, Hobbycraft or somewhere. The range this for about fifty pence in the sale. I always keep my eye out for things like that. Things with a cotton base rather than a shiny. You don't want a satin ribbon or a silk ribbon it's just gets a bit slippy right I'm at the end and I'm going to cut my oh, um, bias tape hope you can see me and then I'm going to I'm going to Fold it over, under, over, under, and you don't have to be super neat at this, you really don't, I just don't want any, I'm just going to cut that off a bit there, that's because I'm just a little bit, I have to be, I don't know, I just don't want that sticking out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, again, making sure that I'm finishing off on the inside of the hoop. I don't want this bulk on the outside. So I've got a needle and thread. And I'm literally going to stitch this. Pick up a little bit of thread. You want a quite thin needle. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And stitch it down. I'm just going to go through that way, through my needle, through. Keep it. I've seen um, one or two people that glue it all the way with print stick, glue stick. Why can't it? It's because I've got it at a weird angle. Just tip you under. I can't see. That's it. I'm making this look very awkward, I know. It's because I'm trying to show you on the camera rather than. So I'm making a making a bit of a hash of it, as everything I do when I'm trying to do it on camera. Maybe I should have had a longer needle as well, so I could pull it. If you've got a different way. Well, you've been shown a different way please uh, go ahead and do that way but I'm just I know um, one or two people asked me about how that I did it and if you're a beginner you just you know a little guidance is always good but when I um, was teaching in secondary school I used to get the kids to do their own and um, and that would 
you know they would keep that throughout the project come on yes I think I should have had a longer needle but that's always the way And of course, because it's quite tight, it, you, you sort of struggle a little bit to pick it up. So you want to go back on yourself. I don't want to go back all the way, but put yourself a couple of stitches in to secure. Because I don't want to put a knot in. Okay. And I'll probably come up a bit further in. Oh, along and I will fasten that off I'll snip that off and as I always say you know when you cut in near to fabric keep your scissors open and pull your thread really taut and rub it against your needles uh, your scissors so you're not snipping and you don't accidentally snip a hole in your fabric so that then you might want to open that up a little bit see what I mean you've got you've added yourself a little bit of extra on but that should then keep your fabric from slipping around so if you've enjoyed this video as always um, please do give it a thumbs up and if you're new I'd, like, I'd love it if you subscribed and I will see you again soon.